<laughs> buy now for as low as $2.99 per month, zero down. Because you know, as soon as they step in and they're like, of course I have to have the self-driving. Oh, it's an extra three bucks, 300 bucks a month. Of course I'm going to do it. That's 600 bucks a month extra. I already pay a thousand dollars for my stupid car. <laughs> you know, that's like the, the thought process a regular customer would go through uh, potentially. So that's where Tesla has a lot of um, opportunity. And, and, and on top of that FSD story, if we look at what just happened here uh, from a interview with the Uber CEO, it sort of continues this trend of why FSD is poised to really dominate transportation. Uh, a snippet from this interview um, from the Uber CEO, in the near term, I think it's going to be very difficult, and Elon will tell me I'm wrong, to build a camera-only product that has superhuman levels of safety. At some point, will it be possible? Quite possible, yes. Solid state LiDAR is $500. Why not include LiDAR as well in order to achieve superhuman safety? All of our partners are using a combination of camera, radar, and LiDAR. And I personally think that's the right solution, but I could be proven wrong. So there, you know, the door's open for being proven wrong there, which is interesting. And then Elon replied to this post by Sawyer. Told you he's going to be a regular in this video. Uh, LiDAR and radar reduce safety due to sensor contention reduce safety so it makes it worse if lidar radars disagree with cameras which one wins this sensor ambiguity causes increased not decreased risk that's why waymos can't drive on highways we turn off the radars and teslas to increase safety cameras for the win and this is something that elon's been on top of for a really long time where he you know Tesla tried to go through this experiment of using radar, ultrasonics, and vision on their older uh, self-driving self models. 